If you're anything like me, the internet is your best friend while you code. Yikes. But it can be even more useful if you know exactly which websites to visit that will help you become a better programmer. So here are the top six websites that I think every programmer should know. At number one, we have CodePen.io. So this is a development environment in your browser, mainly targeted for front-end developers or designers. It features a live code editor for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you can see your code in real time while writing it in your browser. You can also share projects, which they call pens, with other users and explore other people's work. So this is an amazing website for prototypes or experimenting with something new without having to open your IDE. It's also really convenient if, for example, you're not in a machine with your preferred software installed. So say you're in a hotel or something without your laptop. And if you ever get into that situation, I'm sorry then you can just easily go on this website and try it out. It's also really good for learning and experimenting with new technologies that you find. Say you just discovered an extremely useful HTML tag, like you can in this video right here, and you wanna try it out. Instead of opening your IDE, waiting for VS Code to load, and then starting a live server, you can simply just go on this website and type away. And I really like that you don't have to link your files, so the CSS and JavaScript work automatically out of the box, which can save you time. It's also a great way to showcase your work to potential clients or employers, or even just your friends. So all in all, it's a great platform to write a bit of code and share it with the world. And if you want an alternative, Code Sandbox is also really good, especially when working with frameworks like React, which work out of the box. On our number two website, we have the one and only MDN Web Docs. This is a comprehensive resource for developers, which is maintained by Mozilla, aka the people who run Firefox. It offers extensive documentations on web standards, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And because it's maintained by Mozilla, you could be assured that it's almost always extremely up-to-date and very reliable. It also offers tutorials and guides from beginners to advanced developers, which I think is great. They have many super useful examples, which I personally use a lot of times, and even come with a little editor so you can experiment more. And one of their best features is their browser compatibility table, which allows developers to understand how different features work across all browsers. So all in all, this is a go-to reference for best practices and up-to-date information on web development. But if you want an alternative, I personally use W3Schools a lot when starting out. What I like about W3Schools is that it's a lot more simpler it's a lot more simple for beginners to navigate. And because it's not as specific as MDN web docs, which is why a lot of people don't like it, I think it's actually great for beginners starting out as they're not overwhelmed by information. And also I think that their examples are one of the best, especially if you're just starting out. On our number three, we have carbon.now.sh. So pretty long domain name right there. Carbon is a tool for creating beautiful images of your source code. And I personally use it a bunch of times in my own videos. It has tons of customizable themes, fonts, and window styles to make code snippets visually appealing. I mean, look at this. Huh? And it has easy sharing options for social media or documentation. And with tons of customization, this is perfect for developers who want to showcase their work in presentations, blogs, or social media posts, or use them in YouTube videos like I do. I know I said six, but I lied to you. <laughs> so here's an extra website that I think every programmer should know, brought to us by our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a learning platform that helps you get smarter every day. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, science, programming, and AI, Brilliant is the most effective way to learn. It has the perfect mix of engaging problems, competitive features, and daily encouragement that allows you to keep a consistent habit. You can also learn on the go right on their mobile app. Brilliant allows you to develop your critical thinking skills through problem solving. And with their thinking and code course, you can develop your understanding of programming from the ground up and learn to actually think like a programmer. If any of this sounds interesting to you, you can try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days for free, plus get an additional 20% off an annual premium subscription by visiting brilliant.org slash geodev or by scanning the QR code on screen. This one. And you can also click on the first link in the description down below. Thank you so much, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. And now on to our next website. Next up, we have CSS Battles. Now, I personally think this website is super cool. It's an online platform where developers can improve their CSS skills by participating in coding challenges where users have to replicate a design by only using HTML and CSS. It really does help you become better at CSS as it forces you to look at layout, responsiveness, and come up with creative solutions to the problem. And the fact that users compete against one another as a fun and engaging element to learning. And I think it encourages users to come up with better and more efficient solutions. There's also a wide community that shares tips, tricks, and solutions 
solutions to the problems, which really does create an amazing learning environment. An alternative to this is Frontend Mentor, which also aims to improve your web design skills, though it's a lot less gamified than CSS Battles, and probably more for professional use. Speaking of professional development, our fifth website is the infamous Leet Code. Leet Code. Leet Code. LeetCode is a popular platform to practice your coding and prepare for technical interviews. Now, I don't have much experience on LeetCode as I'm still a student, but I'm sure I'm going to rely on it a lot when I end up looking for a job. Inside my Happy Meal, it says the worst thing ever. It says job. It offers a wide range of coding challenges on a wide degree of difficulty and covers topics such as algorithms, data structures, and system design. Users can solve problems in multiple programming languages and can also participate in contests to improve their skills. It also has a discussion and forum which provide feedback and solutions to problems and again create a valuable community. And obviously if we talk about community, the number one website is, you guessed it, Stack Overflow. I think this is the website that every programmer learns about when starting their programming journey. Stack Overflow is a question and answer platform for developers. And as toxic as it might be sometimes, it offers a vast range of questions and answers for multiple programming topics. It's community driven, so anyone can ask questions, provide answers, and vote on the best responses or downvote them if they're unasked. Stack Overflow is honestly an invaluable resource for troubleshooting problems. And I don't think a day passes where I code and don't refer to it at least once. So there you have it. Those are my personal top six websites websites that I think every programmer should know. If you have a website that you think every programmer should know, let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. That's all for me today. Bye bye.